And welcome back to the Mike Pressler Show here at Black East Bulldog Tavern in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Mike Mancuso rejoined now by Coach Pressler as we're going to break down this weekend's upcoming game against Albany. Big St. Patrick's Day showdown up in Albany, New York. It's the first all-time meeting between these two programs. And uh, Albany comes into this one kind of reeling a little bit. They're 0-5. They've yet to open America East play. But they were ranked preseason number three out of six teams in the America East. And uh, they're led by their head coach, Scott Marr. He's in his 12th season. He's had four America East titles. He's made the NCAA tournament four times as well and was actually the 2007 Coach of the Year. Uh, do you have any connections to Scott as you might have had with some of the other coaches sure. you faced? I've known Scott for years. Uh, I knew him when he was an assistant at the University of Maryland. Um, and he's done remarkable things with the Albany program. I think the first coach ever at the University of Albany yeah. when they started the program. Uh, his resume speaks for his, himself. Um, just um, a lot of respect for Scott Marr uh, as a man, as a coach, and what he's done with his team. And, uh, you know, like, like any of us, we go through tough times. and. You know, like you said before, they're reeling right now at 0-5, but they're a heck of an 0-5 team. Right. And coming off such an emotional win for you guys over Drexel, are you worried about any kind of letdown this weekend? And how do you as a coaching staff go about preventing that? We know exactly who we are and who we're not. And um, there'll be no letdown as we move forward here. Uh, you know, it's very important for us to, to kind of see how we handle success. Um, if we continue to practice like we practice, practice today in spring break, I'm confident our guys are going to put the work in, the time in, as we get ready for Albany. Mm -hmm. And you're taking a team on, on the road, and they're very hungry for a win. And they've had some tough games so far. They're looking for their first win of the season. How do you prepare your team for that? It's, um, it's a respect factor that, you know, we just respect Scott Marr. We respect their players. They get some, the Thompson um, uh, boys, uh, Joe Rezateritz, um, they got a heck, a heck of a long stick midfielder, number 50. You know, I think they're going through some injuries. Um, maybe got, they're going through some, some issues with uh, players that are not back this year for whatever reason. I don't know, but we, we just, uh, we're just ready for a, for a heck of a battle with the Great Danes on this Saturday. Yeah. Well, you've mentioned a few of their men on the offensive end, and you got to start with their senior attackman, Joe Reseter. It's preseason All-American. He scored a hat trick in every single game so far this season, all five of their games. he got 15 goals on the season, and he's got the 38-game scoring streak, the longest in the country. Any special plans to kind of tie him up a little bit this weekend? Number five is a good an attackman we'll see all year. Uh, never really seen uh, Joe Reseter live, seen him on film. Uh, remarkable player, plays at the X position right behind the goal. But he also has a great supporting cast around him. So, you know, again, uh, their leading scorer, arguably their best player. Uh, we, we're going to have our hands full trying to slow down Joe Rezateritz. Yep. And some of that supporting unit has to be the Thompson trio. We've got a pair of brothers and a cousin. One of the brothers, Miles Thompson, a sophomore now, he was the America East Rookie of the Year. His brother Lyle comes in as one of the nation's top recruits, and some have him listed as the top recruit. And then they have their cousin Ty Thompson, who is also on the America East Rookie team. That's quite a core of players there on the offensive end that handle for you defense. You know, they're, um, they're tremendous uh, box players. You know, num uh, number zero, number two, number three. Uh, their skill set is remarkable. You know, they, they've learned that playing box across, indoor across, and, and they've taken so much what they've learned and become outstanding field players. Yeah, they certainly have. And how do you game plan for a team like Albany? That they like to play a run and gun type of style, like to keep it really up tempo and just keep things moving along. You know, how do you guys try to account for that from the defensive perspective? Well, that's something we're going to do too. I mean, we're, that's, that's kind of our style when we get the opportunity. Uh, you know, we just got to pay attention to who their key guys are. Right. I mean, that's that's a thing for us. Uh, don't really have a great handle on Albany yet. We will hopefully by Wednesday. Got to watch some more tape. Mm -hmm. But um, again, just a, a quality team from top to bottom. A team very similar to Colgate right. that we hadn't seen. I've never been to Albany. Mm -hmm. I, I've never seen them play live, um, even though it's only three hours away. Right. So yeah, I think the newness of that will be even more exciting for our guys. Right. And, uh, you know, defensively, they've really been struggling, though. They're averaging, giving up about 13 and a half goals per game, and they've been outscored 68 to 39. With the way your attack and your minis have been playing, how confident are you in their abilities to take care of business this weekend? You know, we're we're going to play this well this weekend. We're going to put the time in again, and we're, we're going to carry the momentum, we hope, from Drexel, you know, through the week and into Albany, and then just tighten up some of the things that we continued to uh, that plague us a little bit. Uh, we're, we're addressing those as we speak. Um, 
you know, adding some depth to our lineup. I think we do that over spring break. We need to get more people in the game. That's going to help us certainly down the road when the weather gets a little warmer like it was today. Yeah. So there's things that, that we're going to do as we prepare for Albany, but there's things this week that we're going to do to help just make us better. Right. And now looking inside some of the numbers heading into this weekend's game, let's take a look at face-offs. Right now you guys are 59% on the season, which is I think a little bit higher than you probably might have thought going into the year, especially with a, a freshman face-off man. That's eighth nationally. Now Albany on the other hand is at about 37%. How do you see that matchup working this weekend? we got to win face-offs. I mean, and, and just because you've done it through five games doesn't mean you're going to do it in game six. And just because they've struggled in, in five games doesn't mean they're going to struggle this time around. It's such an individual matchup thing. So we got to pay attention. They actually, three or four, four guys face off for them. Yep. They kind of do it by committee, mm -hmm. or we just do it with Kevin Massa. So Kevin's going to have more film study, more preparation on his part as he faces multiple face off guys um, at Albany this weekend. Now let's take a look at the man up on the season so far. You guys are 10 of 26, good for 39%. They come in at 8 of 24, good for 33%. How do you think your team's been performing on the man up so far this season? Well, I, I think we can do better. Um, we got some great shooters there. Uh, key play in the, in the Drexel game, we're two men up in the second quarter and we turn it over. You know, and, and w when you're struggling to score and you get a man up opportunity, you just got to make those happen. And especially two men up. And, uh, you know, Albany's an aggressive team. They're going to follow some. And uh, we got to be disciplined in, in, in how we go about those EMO opportunities. And, and we just got to shoot the ball better. Yep. So we've talked a little bit about man up. Let's talk a little bit about mound down. On the season, 68%. You've killed off 17 of 25 penalties. They've come in at 65%, killing off 13 of 20. How do you see that matchup working out? You know, Casey brought us in. Uh, we really addressed our man down last week, and that was one of our bright spots in the Drexel game. You know, they were one for five on EMO, and um, Coach Broderson did a great job, uh, you know, adjusting there. We put a lot of time into our man down last week, as we did in our face-off game, and those two areas in particular were really beneficial Absolutely. Uh, versus Drexel. And now overall, what do you think is going to be the biggest factor in grabbing a W? And of course, let's talk a little bit about what might be the X factor for this weekend's game. I think the biggest is factor this week is just our ability to handle success and, and to stay after it in practice. You know, we, we talked about investing, you know, in, in victory. That was our theme last week. We got to continue to invest, put the work in, and uh, pay attention to the details of, of our preparation. And, and you kind of do that, and I say to the guys, if you do it and do it well, the score will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of the X factor, though, what are we looking at? Last week it was how was the, uh, you know, the, one of the matches were the, between the goalies or the attack against their mm -hmm. defense. What about this weekend? You know, I'll put it back in our attack play again. I mean, our attack certainly was overall was not up to expectations versus Drexel. Uh, and, and we the other X factor is we got to really exploit our transition game, our ability to go from D to O and create um, in, in those six on five, five on four opportunities that we were, work really hard in practice. So I think for, for us right now, it's, it's the transition game, putting a lot of pressure on them, uh, trying to score some goals in bunches. Mm -hmm. uh, X factor for us moving forward. Next. Well, Coach, best of luck this weekend. Thanks, the Bryant Bulldogs head to Albany to take on the Great Danes. St. Patrick's Day battle, 1 o'clock in Albany. If you like making the trip, I think it'd be well worth your time. Thanks for watching the Mike Kressler Show here on Cox Sports Television.